Hi everyone, Paul here again. I am going to give you a short explanation on how you can communicate with your students through Envision. I'll talk about two parts, how you can comment and view attachments from students, and then I'll quickly show you how you can have a discussion with either your whole class, a group, or an individual student. So first you're opened up in your Envision. You can go ahead and just go straight to classes. You can click here in the middle. Uh, there's a tab up here also. Once you go into classes, search for the class that you have. I'm going to go to Flores High School. And I'm going to go ahead and first just go to assignments right here. And this gives me a list of all the assignments that I have um, given. You can um, organize them with these tabs up here. But for now, I'm just going to go through assignments by student to show you how to communicate. So I'll choose Seth. And then in here, I could see all the assignments that Seth has either not started, are in progress, or has completed. If I look down the left side, I can see if he's commented. He has two comments here and one comment here. And actually, I believe I commented already. Um, in the center, you'll see an icon. Whenever you see this icon of a paperclip, that means that there's an attachment. So let's go right into um, problem one because I see that there's a comment and an attachment. So if I open it up, I can see the comment. Seth Money said almost done. And then I said, let me know when you finish. Um, to discuss with them, it's add a comment. It's very intuitive. Um, you can write anything you need to. And then just simply click post off to the right. Now Seth has received the comment. For the attachment, just go ahead and click on to the icon of the paperclip, and then it'll have Seth's work. It'll pop there. Just go ahead and hover over it, click that, and you'll have a document that comes up. I'm right now on this screencast, so it's kind of pushing the work to the side. When you do this, your PDF will pop up for you. Okay? And so Seth is actually saying, very easy to use. Uh, so I'm obviously Seth, uh, so um, it's as simple as that. Then go back into the Realize here and let me finish up. Um, I can then collapse uh, the area where Seth has left his attachment. Here he has completed um, this problem. I can open up and see what he's done. And you can see that he wants an extension for problem two because he has to take his dog to the vet. So down here, I can just simply add my comment for Seth, go to the right and click post, and he'll get what I reply to him. So that's a real simple way to keep in touch with the students to check. Maybe you want to look at their tests. You want to then have a comment to it, maybe support them. Very easy way to do that. Just one of the ways. Um, I'll show you another way, a second way. If you want to have a discussion, up here at the top, you just click Discuss. And you can either choose a discussion that you've already created. It will save for you. This one I put Testing Prompts. If you want, you can create a new one. Just simply create a prompt. Again, very intuitive. Click the color language bubble you want. And then go ahead and add your title. Add your problem or your discussion that you're going to have, save your prompt, and it's there for you. Then it's just like assigning any other thing, your assignments or your test. Click Assign. Once you click Assign, it'll give you up here, enter your class or group. Again, you can do a whole class. You can do an individual student. Or you can do a group. And in order to make a group, um, you can check out a link in the tutorial support that I have on the uh, OUSD YouTube channel that's uh, attached to the link that you got this link from. So check that out if you want to make groups. Maybe you have just five students that you want to have certain discussions with. Um, they're at different levels. It's a great tool to use. So once you put them in, click your date, set your range, assign it and everyone's ready to go. So that's it, just two real simple ways to discuss um, and to leave comments and to check out attachments. To see how the students do this on the same document of remote learning from OUSD website and curriculum, 
um, again, the one that you probably um, got to this location from, look up student facing technology and that'll let you see what the student sees and what the student's able to do. That's it. Thank you.